Okay, back with you on the Bronx Buzz. Thanks to Ethan. He does a great job, and he's so important to all of us. And here's something else that's important to all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll. The, <laughs> the, the Mott Haven Film Festival, my buddy, Ninoska, Carolina. Yeah. Nice to see you, Ninoska. Uh, nice to see you, too. Thank you for having me today. So um, here we are. Now, let's see. Fourth. This is the fourth time we're doing the Mott Haven Film Festival. Do tell Yes. Fourth, fourth year. We're very excited. Um, we are screening about uh, 25 films. Two of 25. them are feature films. Yes, 25. Uh, two of them are feature films. One of them is a music video, which I'm very excited about. And the rest are short films. And I couldn't be more thrilled, me and the team. Um, so uh, let's see. Now it's um, Thursday the 19th. Uh, through the 22nd. Um, how do people yes. see you? Let's do that and then we'll rewind and talk about um, the specifics of the films, etc. But mm -hmm. where, where do people see the films? How, how, do, how do we participate in the Mott Haven Film Festival? Yes. So October 19th is our opening night. Um, it will be taking place well, it will be taken. Oh my God, I can't take, do the sentence now. <laughs> it will take place at the Bronx Brewery uh, from 6 to 9. Uh, we will be screening uh, four films from previous years. So we will have something in each category, like um, a horror and comedy and such. And that's basically our networking night. But then the actual screenings are going to be taking place uh, Friday the 20th, the 21st, and the 22nd. And that will be taking place at the Lincoln at the Lincoln Hospital Auditorium. Oh, that's wonderful! So the first yes. night is at the Bronx Brewery. Yes, and you're probably not going to be able to get the same refreshments at the Lincoln <laughs> Hospital that you get no, at the Bronx not at Brewery, all. Right. which is actually a wonderful <laughs> place. Are they going to do it yes. outside, or uh, I guess? Wow, that that'll be yes, really. Yes, we're going to do it at the backyard, which I'm what really a, excited about. Yeah, very very exciting. Um, how do how do films get selected? So we have a committee, right? And each person in the committee uh, watches the film and then they kind of like have a grading system. And then they come together and they say, well, we're going to, you know, pick this one, this one, this one, this one. And mm -hmm. then and then if I, I don't partake in that decision making, but if there's a film that I really did like and it wasn't selected, I kind of, you know, do my trump card. How, how, many, how, many, people, how many people are on that committee? Uh, four. Four people and yes. are the, their um, local people, their filmmakers. Um, yes, you know. they're filmmakers, um, and each of them have like a particular, um, what's the word? Uh, like a particular specialty, right? And right. so one of them is a director. The other one does uh, DP, right. which is director of photography. Um, and then we have a sound and an editor. So they come together and they see things a little bit differently from each other, which mm. is a good thing. Which is a great thing. How, yes. how, um, how many do you get in? Like, a, a you know, there, is there like a big volume of it? Do you have to like call people and say, hey, what do you got now? <laughs> you know, what, how does it work? So we have been for, fortunate enough that we have had Overall, I would say I have almost 300 submissions within the Three, four years. Wait, that we, with the four years. Okay, but still, four years, that's, yeah. that's significant. Yeah. That's like 150 a year. Right, exactly. And so it's it's pretty, inter you know, it's it's pretty good because we have um, a lot of people that come and, and they submit like every cycle, right? And it's really nice to see one particular director like just grow throughout the years right and so we're wow. really happy for those people as well that they keep supporting us that way and and yeah we this year we had about roughly 50 submissions wow. and so you know due to 10 constraints and other things we had to really narrow it down to 25 but um but the decision is never hard, you know. That's always the hard part. Like, are are, are you um, are you ever surprised at at that volume? I'm I'm surprised at that volume. Um, and what it says to me is, of course, what I know about our home borough of the Bronx that that it's a wonderful place, and we just all we're bursting with creativity that nobody knows about. I mean, that's what this is all about, right? And that's um that's something that really became evidence the very first year that we did this right so in 2020 when we were having our inaugural event we had i believe give or take like 40 to 50 submissions and that was in our first year so that to me said this is about 50 people that want 
a film festival in their borough. And so, you know, we've just been able to grow year after year and I'm excited about that. I'm really wow. happy that we're able to give that avenue of expression to filmmakers. You know, I don't even know, remember if I asked you this, obviously it's not your first time on the program. Are, yeah. are you a filmmaker? Have you been a filmmaker? Or this is not, that's not your thing. Your thing is to help promote the art. So my, um, excuse me. So my background is actually in PR and communications, but uh, my sister, which is the director of the film committee, she's the filmmaker of the family. And so she, um, I saw all the struggles and the hardships that she was going through behind the scenes. And that's basically what triggered the entire idea of having a film festival in the Bronx, because it's, it's something about having a skeleton crew, maybe two people, right? One person right. holding the camera and the other person acting. Um, that really just shows the dedication that they have to this art form. And I, I wanted to kind of like give back to the community. And this was my way of giving back to provide such a service. Tremendous. It, it's, a yes. tr it's a tremendous thing. Um, last question before we show um, a couple of clips. Um, have you found that the uh, quality has improved over time? I realize it's not 30 years, like BronxNet 30 yeah. years, but, right. but, it, but it's four, four years. Have you seen, because I'll tell you, the, the clip we're about to show, woo, right, <laughs> and it's, yeah. it's really a film. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, there's some, one of the things that we always, that I was always very, um, strong about was that I wanted to give everyone an equal platform, right? So the overall idea is, is if you have an, a beginning, a middle, and end to your story, then your chances of getting into the festival are very high. Um, we, we understand that there's students out there. We understand that there's people that are learning the, you know, the tricks of the trade through like YouTube, for instance. And then there are those that do go to film school, right? Or some sort of certificate program. Right. There's, there's and, people at all different levels. Right, yeah. exactly. And so um, some people, you know, film on their iPhones, right? right? And some people actually rent the cameras. So that's something that over time you you appreciate. You appreciate and they get better mm -hmm. and better. So this first one, um, well, I, I mean, we're just we're just going to show it. Uh, I would say to people, uh, you might want to put your seatbelt on because this is, um, it'll scare you. Uh, so here we go. Let's uh, let Anderson roll the magic box and uh, let's see what it looks like. On edge as the urgent search continues for a possible serial killer or killer. from the body. The lower extremities have recent surgical wounds. Surgical wounds? You smell that? It's like some type of perfume. Vigilant and do not walk alone. Looks like our guy adds another victim to his list. Uh, it should be bribery. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> you know, um, so congratulations, Grace uh, Claudio. Um, what a piece this is. Um, th so there's a schedule. These will be shown and, and people do come to see them, right? Yes. So we have uh, different blocks, right? So we have uh, for Saturday and Sunday, we have a 12 o'clock, a 12 o'clock noon block, um, a 3 p.m. block. And then Saturday, we have a 6.30 block. And then that Friday, the twenty, the twentieth, uh, we do have a six p.m. block. Well, as well, let's say we don't. I don't want to take time to review them all. People yes. can get to um, the Mount Haven Film Festival on on the web. I mean, how can they get all the info? 
Yes. So our primary uh, way of getting in contact with us or getting the most um, up-to-date information is through our Instagram page on, right. you know, My Haven Film Festival. Right. And then, of course, you can visit our website at myhavenfilmfestival.nyc. That NYC. We got one yes. more. Where it's a short one to show. And yes. um, so let, let's, I'm, I'm only smiling because they really make, <laughs> I, like you saw in the last yes. one, they really have impact. Uh -huh. Let's uh, take do. a look at this one. Here we go. Hello, friend. If you're reading this, I've either been caught or killed. Regardless, you'll soon bear witness to all I've done. He's really starting to scare me. Sign the divorce papers and leave them alone. It's starting to freak me out here. You trying to intimidate me? Out of all the women you could have had, why my wife? Well, exactly. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> short, short but sweet. And uh, this yes. year, you uh, uh, the note that I got was that you'll be screening nine films from the Halloween in April event at Comic Con. Was yes. that one? Was that are these two one among them? No, but maybe oh. we can get them for twenty twenty four. All right, there you go. <laughs> Listen, um, Mount Haven Film Festival is Thursday, October nineteenth through Sunday, October twenty second. Make sure we yes. check it out. Uh, Ninoska, uh, people show up to watch the films. They should. They have to. No, no. Do have they done so in the past? I mean, we've had good good audiences. Yes, we have. Yeah, we had you know sold out shows, and then we had shows that only two or three people show up. You know, we had a, a little bit of everything, which is fine. <laughs> have Have you changed it through the four years? Have you said, um, "Well, last year it didn't work," or once you defined what you were going to do, it was the same thing throughout? Um, we've added days. So, um, because there so are more films and you right, got to do exactly. more. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it's gotten larger. Um, yes. Does it ever surprise you how much creativity there is in the in Bronx? I understand 90% of the filmmakers are from our home borough. Um, no, it doesn't surprise me. It just surprises me that we didn't have a film festival um, ah, beforehand. Go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, and listen, there's the 48 hour film challenge. You know, there's people right. making films. This is yes. a real important thing. It's important to BronxNet. Of course, we have our Wednesday film series as well. Um, mm -hmm. Ninoska Carolina, thank you. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Mod Haven Film Festival. Look for them online. Look for them on Instagram. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you around town, I'm sure. Yes. See you, everyone. Thank <laughs> Bye. You. Okay, yeah. that will um, we'll th thank uh, Ninoska once again, and we'll also thank uh, Ethan uh, from uh, AM New York Metro. And uh, you know what happens if the curtain don't fall and the creek don't rise? I'll be back next week. Good night. <laughs>